There's no drawing back. You can't go back. We're going on to the fullness of what faith will produce for us in this life. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraught. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here, and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us hebrews chapter 10 verse 38 now the just shall live by faith there must be living big living say big living, big living. not small little wee little bitty living the just shall live live large by faith and if any man draw back my soul shall have no pleasure in him so we can't draw back listen you can't draw back once you've gone here and we're gonna be talking about a lot of things tonight well once you've gone here you can't draw back I'm not going back why would I go back I'm going forward into all the fullness of what God has for us I know too much to go back and what's he talking about living by faith and so we're supposed to live by faith and as we live by faith we don't go back we keep living by more and more faith mm -hmm. bigger living say bigger living. bigger living is there bigger living in faith yes. Yes. there must be mm -hmm. so there's no drawing back it can't go back not going back we're going on to the fullness of what faith will produce for us in this life now the just shall live by faith faith in what you say faith in the living God he's a living God and he knows how to live and we're called to live mm -hmm. by faith in the living God who's your faith supposed to be in the living, the living God that's why we live by it Amen. my faith is in the living God you got a problem with that <laughs> don't write me nasty letters then my faith is in the living God yes. I get good letters too you know that right my faith is in the living God I have faith in the living God and I live by my faith that's in the living God is this too complicated no. and I can live better if my faith is better and more accurate in this living God mm -hmm. then I'll know how to apply my faith and walk with this living God and frankly have a better life yes. and a better living mm -hmm. say I will, I will have a better living how many of you can testify to this fact that the more you know the living God and walk with the living God you have a better living Amen. the just shall live by faith it's got to be faith in something you understand that I'm not making a big stretch here the just shall live by faith the faith is in the living God well a lot of people don't know who the living God is they would say oh, yeah, the living God they don't know who the Bible calls the living God so would it be difficult for them to have accurate faith in the living God if they don't know who he is they really don't know who you're talking about it's just yes. out there somewhere yes. but there is a living God and he's alive and he's in the earth today and we walk by faith we live by faith in him mm -hmm. are you here Ooh. the living God is the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is the living God first Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 you're the temple of God and the Spirit God dwells in you that's literally what it says first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what know ye not that your body is the temple of now what did it what did the last verse say your body is the temple of God 
the spirit of god dwells in you what know you not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost who is in you are you here yeah. so the holy ghost is god and the holy ghost is in you and you are the temple of god the holy ghost second corinthians chapter 6 verse 16 for you are the temple of the living god he's god he's the spirit god he's the holy ghost he's the living god the holy ghost is the living god say the holy ghost, the holy ghost is, is the living god living. now we said we're supposed to live by faith in the living god mm -hmm. you still here first timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living god if you're going to be rich in this world you trust in the living god if you're going to be rich in this world you trust in the living god who's the living god the holy, the holy ghost you trust in you faith in you believe in holy ghost as god who gives us richly all things to enjoy is that living yes, yes that's living so your faith you should live by faith in the living god the holy ghost and he gives you richly all things to enjoy all things to enjoy so if I do this if I have faith in this living God he will do that trust not in uncertain riches but trust in the living God trust faith belief in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy if I have trust in him and faith in him he will do that give us richly all things to enjoy so in faith in the living god must be all things to enjoy in faith in the living god if i have faith in the living god which i'm supposed to live by if i have faith in the living god in faith in the living god must be richly all things to enjoy it's in there otherwise you wouldn't have said that so where is richly all things to enjoy where somebody would would tell me where richly all things to enjoy is in faith in the living god so if i can develop my faith in the living god who he is and how to walk with him richly all things to enjoy richly all things to enjoy are you here yes. am i making this up well if you can get this if you can get this faith if you can get this belief you got it all richly all things to enjoy what did he leave out all things to enjoy not some things all things say all things, all things. to enjoy that's life that's living we live by faith in this living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy get that straight mm -hmm. the just shall live I live this faith it's a life it's a living it's a faith that has all things to enjoy in it are you here yes. well my faith in him in who holy ghost living god living god holy ghost mm -hmm. say holy ghost living god, holy ghost, living god. Living god. say living god holy ghost, living god, holy ghost. <laughs> my faith in him gives me richly all things to enjoy mm -hmm. my faith in him gives me richly all things to enjoy richly all things to enjoy my faith in him in who in the living god in the holy ghost what well, my faith is my belief it's what I believe 
what I believe in the Holy Ghost is what gives me richly all things to enjoy if my belief is whacked out by religion I can't get all things to enjoy because my belief is wrong how many people you know their belief is wrong about the Holy Ghost my faith in him gives me richly all things to enjoy say that my faith, my faith in him in gives, me gives me richly, richly all, things all things to enjoy get that straight the just shall live by this my belief that's my faith it's my religion what's your belief but your religion by getting to know him the holy ghost the living God God in the earth today mm -hmm. when you get to know him more and more you realize that he does everything with words second Peter chapter 1 verse 21 holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost where the scriptures come from holy men of God speaking as they were moved by the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. So here we have in these words in these scriptures in these promises the words of the Holy Ghost spoken he spoke them he spoke them he spoke them his faith and his life are in every single word that he spoke in fact every word of God has the ability and the power and the faith and the life in it to bring itself to pass he already spoke it but if it's just there in the scriptures can't hear it can you hear it you have to say it and when you say it it's being spoken into your life with the same power with the same faith the same life that he released in it when he said it first the just shall live by faith faith in the Holy Ghost faith in what the Holy Ghost said faith that comes from those words that the Holy Ghost already said that you begin to say there's faith in there you understand mm -hmm. I mean I could go on and on about this topic but there's faith in those words that he already spoke faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word that he already spoke well if faith comes by hearing it there must have been faith in it whose faith was in it his faith his faith is in the words that he spoke does this make sense well his life is in the words that he spoke but it comes from his word and speaking his word yes. all right we're talking about faith in the Holy Ghost as the Living God and our faith is what we believe you could even say it's our religion and what we believe about the living God and you know if you've been here long enough you believe something about the Holy Ghost the living God that a lot of people don't believe in yeah. well, the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today he's in the earth today and we walk with him by speaking in agreement with his word you get it because I say it every time but that's literally the first time some people have ever heard that string of words come out of anyone's mouth mm -hmm. well how could they be walking in that if they've never heard it before well this is our faith what do you mean this is our faith walking with the Living God the Holy Ghost in the earth by speaking in agreement with his words that's how the just shall live this is how we live with the living God by speaking in agreement with his word by speaking in agreement with his word we're walking with the living God who's the living God the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today you walk with him by speaking in agreement with his word this is our faith well, this is the life this is the faith and I'm living this life I've committed myself to living this way and I'm living this life and I'm not drawing back remember he said you can't go back you want to go back no you don't 
didn't you find out about the holy ghost the living god and that you could actually live with the living god and walk with him by speaking in agreement with his word why would you want to go back you wouldn't well i'm living this life and you can go with me if you want to but i'm not going back until we fulfill all of the things he's called us to fulfill now this is different than what most people have ever heard but what's happening is you're becoming a new kind of believer someone who believes something that they never believed before and in order to go somewhere you've never been you have to believe something you've never believed before mm -hmm. words spoken by the Holy Ghost you believe them and you go there you're a new believer you believe something different is this too difficult i believe something i'm telling you i believe something different now than i believed before a new believer a new faith this faith this faith believing that the holy ghost is god in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words is a faith it's this faith that i'm talking about the just shall live by this faith in the living God and it'll take you someplace others can't go you know don't get mad at me you can't go here unless you believe this does that make sense yeah. in fact you're not allowed entrance without this faith you have to believe it and the Bible's full of that you can't go to where he's saying that you are supposed to go until you believe it they I believe it, I believe it. see the Holy Ghost is God and I walk with him by saying words that's my faith I believe it I'm not turning back from it Amen. and I realize that this message isn't for everyone there's just some people who are not willing to go here they're just not willing well so what about you are you willing to go here whether they come along or not I said I'm not going back there are some people that are not willing to go here but just realize that there are elements of this kingdom of heaven in the holy ghost and the angels of god who will have nothing to do with you until you go here they won't have anything to do with you in fact i had an angel say that to me i don't have anything to do with people who don't worship the Holy Ghost and if you don't go here I don't have anything to do with you but if you will go here then you're all up in my business you become part of my business we're going someplace together and it's great it's wonderful it's full of the life of the Living God this is our faith the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words faith to live by is this a faith you can live by mm -hmm. living God gives you richly all things to enjoy proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 my son attend to my words incline thine ear unto my sayings why your ear because you have to hear it and you can't hear it unless it's been said has to be a saying the word has to be said otherwise it's not a saying verse 22 for they are life unto those that find them and health healing or medicine to all their flesh what's life to those that find them the saying of his words are life the just shall live by faith the just shall live by the saying of his word that has faith in it are you getting this with these words that have life in them if it's life unto them there must be life in them his spoken words are life Deuteronomy 30 19 choose life that you may live 
where's life life is in the spoken word we just read that life is in the spoken word you choose life by choosing to say his word proverbs 18 21 says death and life are in the power of the tongue your tongue saying god's word is life and blessing and there's faith in it mm -hmm. the just shall live by it with the living god who gives us richly all things to enjoy well this is our faith a faith that we can live by are you seeing this yes. this is faith that we can live by knowing the holy ghost as the living god and speaking his word is faith and it's something you can live by and he's the living god that gives you richly all things to enjoy because my faith in the living god gives me richly all things to enjoy well if you're not doing this you need to do it do what take a verse of scripture and begin saying it what are you doing when you begin saying it? you're saying God's Word there's faith in it there's life in it there's life to those that find them it will literally heal your flesh all your flesh take a verse of scripture a promise of God any promise and say it and say it and say it until it comes to pass quit being a baby I said it once no you say it until if the things I've said to you tonight are true at all then the powers in there and you know what to do how to walk with the Living God it's his word mm -hmm. you say it and you say it and you say it and you say it and you say it until it comes to pass in your life the just shall live if you do it you're just and you shall live you shall have a greater life if the scriptures prosperity scripture you'll have greater prosperity life in your finances if the scripture is a healing verse you'll have greater healing in your life you shall live shall live the just shall live the just just do it the just do it living God gives me richly all things to enjoy this is living this is a life this is faith this faith this faith that I'm talking about knowing the Holy Ghost as the Living God and walking with him in the earth by speaking in agreement with his word this faith living God gives me richly all things to enjoy I enjoy being healed do you enjoy being healed yes. Psalms 107 verse 20 he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions what did he send and heal them his word he spoke words and the spoken words that the Holy Ghost spoke healed them and delivered them again they do nothing in your life until you say them and when you're saying them you're in agreement with what he's already said Holy Ghost living God the just shall live mm -hmm. he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions mm -hmm. say my destructions my that's real good news because that includes all the things that you did to yourself mm -hmm. you ever do anything to yourself that you shouldn't have mm -hmm. what it do destroyed you what does he deliver you from that including all the things you may have caused we know you caused a bunch of things but he delivers you from that who does living God Amen. if you say it if you say psalms 107 verse 20 he will give you richly psalms 107 verse 20. this is how you do it 
well i want some other way well then you want some religious way that doesn't work and you've been doing it for the last 40 years mm -hmm. you haven't been walking with the living god in fact you want to argue with me about who the living god is mm -hmm. knock it off if you want to go here say here. here if you want to go here walking with the living god in the earth this is how you do it and the just shall live by this faith <sighs> living God gives me richly Psalms 107 20 to enjoy if I say it say if I say it I, say it. I said it once no if you say it and say it and say it Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 the blessing of the Lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it sounds an awful like lot like living god giving you richly all things to enjoy doesn't it mm -hmm. the blessing or the saying that's what a blessing is mm -hmm. if you bless someone you say something over them the saying over of the lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it what if there's no saying over nothing, nothing. what do most people have nothing the saying over of the Lord it makes it the saying over makes rich he adds no sorrow with it well you got Psalms 107 20 he sent his word and healed you and delivered you from all your destructions that's pretty good right and then you got here he's making you rich and adding no sorrow with it mm -hmm. living God giving you richly proverbs 10 22. you got a problem with this i'm not going back now you want to get these two things use these two verses you want to get these things settled and moving in your life him sending his word and healing you and delivering you from your destructions and the blessing of the lord making you rich Guess what the number one and number two prayers are that are prayed every day by just about everybody including sinners mm -hmm. it's about money right. or healing yep. and healing is a long way second by the way mm -hmm. most of the time it's about money but if you get this moving in your life you don't have to pray about money you can say about money yep. in fact third john verse 2 says above all things that you prosper and be in health why would he pray that above all things <laughs> because that's what everybody else is praying about right so he's saying to prosper and be in health it's God's will for you I will have these working in my life say I will have these, will have these working, working in my life, in my life. And do what it takes to get those verses working in your life by the way if you've been saying them they are working whether you see the results now or not they are working but keep at it yeah but what what if i have to say those verses for an hour a day to get them to come to pass so what's your health worth you'd be amazed at how many people you know have a incurable situation or a really bad disease you tell them something like that and they're unwilling to do it how much is your health worth an hour a day it's enjoyable i don't know about you but you know you get a verse of scripture going and all of a sudden you start seeing yourself healed on the inside and then it starts manifesting on the outside but you gotta do it the just do it what if you got to do it for an hour so what what's your health worth what is you being wealthy worth you go to work and work 40 plus hours a week what's your wealth you're exceeding abundant wealth that God has promised you in his word what's that worth what's 20 years added to your life worth what's 20 years added worth yeah. a lot you start to look like the words spoken you start to look like the words spoken when you start to speak the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it you start to look like Proverbs 10 22 
psalms 103 5 your youth is renewed you start to look younger you get younger here listen you get younger in here in this faith in this belief that i'm talking about walking with the holy ghost speaking in agreement with his words you get younger you get healed you get richer i'm telling you there is complete healing and health in here including youth renewal and frankly youth renewal is important because a lot of sicknesses and disease just simply come on because of older age so god's remedy to healing that is to renew the youth there can you see this you're walking with the living god he has complete healing and health he's spoken complete healing and health mm -hmm. we walk with him by speaking in agreement with his word that's our faith there is excessive wealth wealth meaning more than more than more than enough that's wealth say more, more. than more, more than more than, more than enough there's excessive wealth in here where in this room of faith where we walk with the holy ghost as god in the earth well i'm believing this for everyone who's in this room who's in this faith especially for my partners they're part of my household of faith say household of faith, household of faith. A household of faith is a group of people who believe the same thing and believe the same way you can see I believe this right this is what I'm believing for you complete healing and health and youth renewal and excessive wealth and I'm not drawing back from it and if you don't want this you don't want to be associated with me don't become my partner but if you do then this is where you want to be Amen. because this is where we're going yes. and it shall be for thee mm -hmm. but if you don't want it then you don't want to be associated with me or the people i run with or the angels i run with for that matter because we're all in this room i'm actively believing for these things including an increase in the seed sown now Luke 638 says give and it shall be given unto you what good measure pressed down shaken together and running over shall it be given into your bosom with the same measure you meet yes. is there faith in that yes. there's faith in that just like any of the other promises can I walk with God in that mm -hmm. I do and that's what I'm believing I believe that I have given and it shall be say it shall be. it shall be we're calling for it shall be the seed that I've sown it shall be given unto me good measure pressed down shaking together running over in the measure I've given yes. are you here yes. I'm believing that for you and this is happening now living God gives me richly all things to enjoy this is my faith this is my life does that make sense now yes. living god gives me richly all things to enjoy say living god, living god. Gives, me gives me richly, richly. All, things all things to enjoy, to enjoy. This, is this is my faith let me pray for you holy ghost i thank you that you brought a number of people in today and those people are beginning to know you and walk with you as God in the earth and great changes shall begin to take place in their life in their finances in their physical body and even in their youth being renewed it's happening now and we give you all the praise and the glory in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I, worship I worship you you are the living God and I walk with you by saying words I say I give and it is given unto me good measure pressed down shaken together running over do men give into my bosom with this measure I meet 
it's, it's measured unto me we thank you holy ghost in jesus name for it it is happening now jesus in a glorious thing it shall be in jesus name amen